Miles Xavier, and welcome back to the one-armed party for Tremaine. The blood-soaked room. Apparently, Suge actually came out of the hallway to say hello to everybody. Mental break, methadone binge on Bobaloo, starving. Oh my lord, that's right, we're starving. All right, let me pause for a second here, because I have to go over a few things. Number one, I added three new mods. Uh, so the first one is under decoration tab here. This is called Zen Garden. Look at all these super awesome things. I'm not going to use this like cool gravel, but if you wanted to, uh, what does this work? If I could find a place, I could actually place it someplace. There we go. I could show it up. Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to, you can't place that here. It must be, oh, unraked gravel. Must be placed on unraked gravel. Well, that's interesting. So you put that, in, you put in the unraked gravel, then you rake it. Oh, so you can rake any color. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, I'm not going to do that, but you can make some cool Zen Gardens with that. Uh, what I am going to use this mod for, though, is putting some like uh, some of this rough marble gravel in certain locations. And we have artificial hedges. These cool little half walls, I could make those out of sandstone blocks and whatnot. We got stacked rocks here. Uh, I'm not going to use these ponds or corners so much, but... Anyway, that was a pretty cool thing. This additionally comes with... Let me see if I can find it here. Um... No, it's not there. It's under zones. Right, so you now have orchard zones, which are awesome. Because I'm going to actually use some of these in this episode to come over here and plant some orchards. In fact, I'll put one right there uh, and demonstrate it. So we have zen trees, uh, persimmon trees, and crab apples. Crab apples are very wild westerny. We'll put those in, put at least one right there. Uh, and what happens with these is they grow, and then when they get harvested, they get harvested for fruit, not for the actual wood of the tree. And I noticed my cactus died over here, and this cactus also is about to die from old age. I suppose we'll chop it down, not that I want to, and we'll replace it um, with a tree in a second. Now, another thing I got here is this terraforming mod. I forget what it's called, but you can place any tile anywhere. You can make it like a lava flow if you wanted to. I'm only going to use this uh, as a means to put dirt in places for decorations. Uh, and also as a means to replace this gravel and sand in the in the main roads so that I can put dirt, um, compacted dirt paths over them because I don't want to build brick, uh, brick flooring and whatnot for pathing because the Wild West should be dirt. Unfortunately, you just can't build dirt over gravel or sand, but you could put like bricks over gravel and sand. So, I mean, if you could do one, you imagine you could put dirt over it. Anyway, I want to use this just to be able to put dirt down. Uh, for thematic reasons, and then also to maybe to put some trees or something over here uh, we can harvest. And then lastly, uh, there was Toby's Furniture, I think it was called, which is pretty cool. It adds a couple of tablecloths here, tablecloth long. You can see like a little decoration in it, and you can change these and do all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, we also have tablecloth flower. That is so Wild Western, I love it. Uh, these small sofas, additionally, these are so much more, they look so much more Wild Western-y than these like super angular ones. So I definitely want to replace those with these ones. We can change uh, the production as well. This is something I've always wanted in RimWorld, cushion chairs. So now you can do this and like change the, the cushion of it. Like, the, yeah, look at that. You actually see the, the, the cushion area being a little bit different. Boom rat leather, they'd be red. That would be so cool uh, in any event. We got all that. We got drawers here as well, although they seem to be by default facing up, which is weird. But that's kind of cool that they have a little... Uh, you can see in the bottom, they're like carved out in the back. We also got a fountain, not that I'm really going to use that, uh, but it's there if I wanted to. And then I think, I think that's about it for the, the three new mods I added. Now, in the last episode or two episodes ago, I broke my uh, work priorities. So I took about 30 minutes, literally, uh, to go through and redo them all. And here they are. And I kind of spread them out a little bit more. I put Hall Plus back to a four, Bed Rest on a three. Fix up the doctoring things a little bit. Uh, so, you know, the not good doctors still rescue people, but the good doctors do all the actual treatments. The more important things that I did, though, is I think I've optimized it so that uh, somehow I screwed up construction and I had everybody set on two across the board. So nothing got done. Like, no one was doing growing. That's why everyone's starving. We have literally no food, no meat, no nothing. No plants are being uh, planted or anything like that. So this should fix that. And I made exceptions, so Anari doesn't do anything but cook for the most part. Uh, Cinnamon has now become a cook, is no longer the researcher. In fact, we made Stixie the scientist the researcher. That makes more sense anyway. So Cinnamon's now the backup cook. Tremaine is like the backup backup cook as well. He's uh, He's got a higher priority on butchering, though, than all the other ones. Actually, so does Cinnamon. Anari should be doing the primary cooking without butchering. Uh, but Cinnamon and Tremaine should butcher when it happens. Uh, and I kind of just bumped the, the priority system back one. So that four is kind of like urgent work, but not super urgent. Three is like very urgent and whatnot. 
Uh, five is like the regular work, and then six is kind of like secondary work, and seven and beyond is kind of like, uh, maybe we'll get to it someday sort of thing. Uh, so, with this being set up this way, uh, the good builders should be able to build. I have Nimble. He's our, my best builder of all, so he's going to do all the quality building stuff with that mod. So he should be able to do that immediately after he's done cleaning. And I made another cleaner here with Haz. I want to make sure the whole town is clean all the time. So we got two sort of dedicated cleaners. I have no dedicated haulers, but we've got like 16 people, so we should be able to haul fairly well. Uh, and then the only things that'll happen before growing and plant cutting and all that is going to be like removing roofs and uh, uninstalling like beds or whatnot. And those are the only two things. Otherwise, constructing should take place uh, after we do, what is this over here? After we do sowing and harvesting of plants that yield produce, but probably before uh, harvesting like regular crops. I, I always get this confused. I'm not sure if that's exactly going to work out, but I think so. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to try to make it so that Patrick's like more of a dedicated crafter with a higher priority here, 4-4, four, four, versus all the other crafters at 5-6-7, going from craft to tailor to smith in that order. And then here is hauling, if you guys want to take a look at that. Mostly it's the same thing, except I have uh, exceptions for Tremaine, <clears throat> Stixie, and Cinnamon, because they're all the scientist chefs that I want to be doing, mostly science and chefing. And Anaria, of course, can't do any of that. So, now, with that being said, uh, what do I need to do? Oh, one other thing, people mentioned in the last comments, let the animals out, and I think we can now actually continue to play the game here. Yeah, because we were starving. I wanted to show off all that stuff before we actually started. Uh, but the party is over. Additionally, if Yotter's funeral is in two days, okay? We got a little bit of a while for that. Makiri here is lacking brain uh, anxiety treatment. Whoa, my alpacas are coming out to eat. <laughs> That's awesome. Why do I have so many alpacas? What the hell is this boom rat doing here? Cinnamon, we have a job for you. Oh, yeah, she's going to do corpses over there. I don't want any... Wait, is this my boom rat? Do I have a boom rat? I know I did at one point. I don't right now, no. Bobaloo's gotten food poisoning from rice. There we go. Take it down. Nice. Good job, Cinnamon. Speaking of taking it down, another large reason why I did all this stuff here is to get everyone to be able to hunt. So let's test out my new work priority system. Let's come in here into wildlife and let's hunt all these gazelles. Also, I really like the gazelle uh, design, like the, the color of the leather for furniture and whatnot. Plus, it feels very, you know, thematic for the, for the time period. Not necessarily gazelles. Deer probably would be slightly better. But regardless, I don't have deer in this game as far as I know. Uh, anyway, we're going to hunt all these things and let's see if we can actually produce some food out of that. I think I'll also hunt the emu and all of the ostriches as well. That one even has a gunshot. Interesting. And this is the only way, uh, if we get all that done, hopefully we get a ton of food made really quick. Ah, look, this is happening. Gog, Shug, myself are coming in here. We're planting all these things, even though there's construction to do. Another thing I want to do here, I'm going to grab all this stuff. Let's select similar. Let's put this on hold uh, because... I was thinking about it. I really need to, if we have another raid, I don't want all these blocks out here like crazy all over the place. So once we're caught up on food, I'm gonna haul all these urgently and clear out this area. And I'm gonna make a little Zen garden thing over here a little bit, not really Zen garden. I'm gonna use the Zen garden stuff to make like a, kind of like a back alley where we're gonna store a lot of uh, chunks, uh, which makes sense because this is near the, the chunk smith area. So there's a ton of things. Oh, another thing I wanted to do, thinking about, I want to get rid of these bandits, these bandit masks, because they remove the hair. Let's go to manage outfit, select outfit, anything, and bandit scarf. There we go. That was easy. Amazingly. I thought it would be, like, buried someplace, but nope. Nope, it was right there. Okay, fantastic. Close that down. Awesome. And then we should get rid of all of these things. So people like Caranthia here. Yeah, Caranthia. Well, yeah, see, you can tell she's a female now, but she takes her hat off when she goes inside. But it's so weird when it's, like, masking her hair. And that she's also apparently not wearing a shirt. At some point, someday, I need to start getting on the uh, the tattered apparel. But, yeah, we'll work on that. Uh, now, Major Breakers on Stixie. Well, here's the thing, though. This was Cinnamon's room. It should actually be Stixie's room now. So let's set the owner of that to... Where the heck is... Oh, I have to scroll down. Stixie, there we go. Now, Cinnamon doesn't have a room, unfortunately. I'm not sure where to make her. I mean, it would be cool if she was the town sheriff. But Suge is also the recruiter, so maybe he should be here. Oh, that's right, I switched Plockets out for the, for, um, because Plockets can do growing and all that good stuff and crafting as well. So I took him off of recruiting, and now that's going to be Suge, since his anxiety is finally managed, and he basically can't do anything else anyway, so. 
Looks a good. Cinnamon's cooking up a little bit of rice. That's fantastic. Looks like we're growing what few things we have left over here. I hear traps being reset somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where the deal is with that. They're on auto rearm. So lots of stuff to do. I'm just going to let things go a little bit here. Hopefully, hopefully we get done the, the hunting. Hunting is on a five for everybody. So that's actually where I want it because I want them to do the planting first. And then once they get done that, we should have like a legion of guys going out there to take care of... Uh, hunting up everything because we have literally no food whatsoever and i might have to bump hunting up temporarily right now let's open up all these guys as well kind of see what's going on here dude i got leet stones guys leet stones now oh wow the room got cleaned up pretty fast that's awesome wow cinnamon and nimble in here are just smoking yeah it's our fun happy hour uh, apparently we had a ton of cigarettes just floating around but cinnamon's gonna go haul them back to the stockpile we got one meal in the entire town if blockers is eating it well hmm Everyone's going to go to sleep right after this. Then we're going to have zero meals. I might have to do a temporary, like, jump in, um, in hunting urgency. So, you know what? Let's sort this. I have a Nari off of it. Let's do a shift left click once. And then... Normally, I shouldn't have to do that because most of these things should be already done. But since we're super behind right now... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Nikiri, Nimble, Plockets, Sage. There's four gazelles almost instantaneously. Plockets reloading, I think. Yep, looks good. Nimble reloading. Awesome. Now, one other thing I'm going to need here for sure. Let me grab this. Uh, let's copy these settings. I'm going to need more spaces for these because four. we're about to have like 400 of those guys. Uh, so let's paste that in here. That'll give me a little bit more, at least seven spaces. So hopefully that's good. Uh, and yeah, no, another, 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 another thing is none of my beard ever gets done because it gets overheated and ruins. So what I need to do about that is apparently, since we're going to have some hops soon, if we don't already. Well, I got to get all that uh, tobacco probably put into something, don't I? Anyway, I need to put in a passive cooler, but that's 50 wood. Oh, nice. Cinnamon came in here to do the butchering right away, which is exactly what I wanted. The other problem with the passive cooler is it doesn't rebuild itself. I thought there was a mod that allowed you to do that, or maybe I already have one, but I can't remember what it is exactly. Is this a stockpile? Yes, that's for the ward. All right, well, that's also a stockpile. No, stockpile zone 8, I don't want to rename you. Let's go over and put a passive cooler right in that corner. Hopefully that can keep the temperature down in here uh, to an extent where the alcohol won't overheat uh, and melt, but I don't know. I have no idea. Cinnamon moved in down to the inn here, apparently. Anari is waking up, and she's going to go cook. Perfect, because everyone's about to come up here. Yeah, Plockets just brought in a new gazelle. Another new emu there. Plockets is hauling out this leather. Tremaine woke up, and he's butchering. Yeah, I had him set to priority butcher, which enabled Anaria here to do cooking instead. At least until we ran out. What's she doing now? Just going for a walk? No, she's cooking a simple meal. I don't know. That was weird. All right, so hopefully what happens here is we cook up between Tremaine and Anari. Nice, work priority is doing super well. And as people wake up in the morning, they become to come grab the meals, but they're grabbing them as we cook them. Oh, nope, Gogs actually seem to have missed hers there. Gogs, what are you doing? No, just wait two seconds. There you go. Go get that one. Yeah, much better. Okay, Stixie and Patrick, both of you guys. Stixie, you can go have a real meal. Anari is going to grab that meat. Okay, once again, Stixie didn't get the meal. I don't know why. She can go get that one, though. Why does she keep going after the meat? Consuming gazelle meat. There's a th maybe Caranthia was set. Yes, I see. Okay, there we go. And then lastly, Patrick. I had to do a little bit of micromanagement to get it to work, but everyone has meals. Except for Haz. Haz, you can have this meal in two seconds. There we go. Oh, nope. Actually, Anaria wanted to come over here. Let's just cook priority for a minute here. It has grabbed that. Bobaloo, what are you doing? Reloading. Whew. All right, well, we got through, like, the worst of the meal thing. Everyone ate this morning, and nobody ate raw meat except for Sage. Oh, actually, there's a meal right there. I didn't even realize that. Okay, fantastic. And I think we're caught up. This is actually working fantastic. Look at all these gazelles get pulled in here. Uh, and emus and ostriches and whatnot as we're cooking them up, and they were all getting butchered by Tremaine. What happened to Tremaine? Where did he go exactly? Tremaine, where are you at, friends? He's out here going to hunt. Ah, yes, he's going to hunt probably before butchering because I shift clicked it up temporarily just to get everyone to get the, the show on the road here. Normally, he should be butchering, though, uh, ahead of hunting. But Cinnamon's taking care of it. And fantastic. We have averted the giant meal shortage. Uh, barely. We've only got six meals. 
But we should have, I think, some corn soon. Yeah, corn 90%. Awesome. So let's do the following. Let's get that hunting back to normal. And hopefully... Yeah, we got three people out here hunting. Let's go take a look. Nimble's already carrying. Shug's carrying a gazelle as well. Oh, you know what they're all doing is they're carrying them over here. One, two. Oh, well, we have a whole bunch. We have a whole bunch of those and not enough room. Whoopsie daisy. All right. Uh, well, we shouldn't really normally be hunting that much, so it's fine. Look at Haz cleaning up for us. What a nice guy. Just taking care of all this. Fantastic. Tremaine now should be butchering super fast, and that means all of these corpses should be getting hauled very quickly as well. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Now I collapse from exhaustion. Haz is cleaning the blood up as Cinnamon spills it all over the room. Sounds about right. Oh, we actually have zero more meals. Wow. Okay, that we're barely keeping up here, even with everybody working on this. Sage came in here to stock the uh, the stove, so it's full of fuel for Anaria. Fantastic. This is great. I like it a lot. The only problem is, of course, that we... Oh, look at that. Patrick's coming out here to haul that gazelle. So is Nakiri. We got two more gazelles out there. Nice. Ev I'm not even doing anything, and everything's getting done perfectly. Perfectly. I just need to wait to this, uh, need to manage this a little bit more closely until the corn is done. We're at 92%, 92, 92 all around. How about this? 100% on this rice. Okay. Hopefully that gets harvested tomorrow. Then we get ahead on this game. And then I can start worrying about uh, getting the defenses set up here. Uh, so, whoa, whoa, prison. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Laughlin and Calvin are breaking out. Prisoners are more likely to have to break out when they are numerous and healthy. All right, let's go take a look. Oh, boys, you made a mistake, friends. You made a mistake. Yep, there goes Laughlin. Ooh, you're gonna be kidding me. Parried. Come on, Cinnamon, you got this. Cinnamon, punch him down. I'm gonna come down here and help out just in case. I know Cinnamon's got a million wounds. Put, put Laughlin down pretty quick, which is fantastic. Oh, nice. Cinnamon took care of the whole thing by herself. Look at that, guys. Jailbreak. By the way, Cinnamon Shorts, available in a freaking Teespring store near you. Which I mean in the description down below. Uh, in any event, Kelvin, gunshot one, Laughlin, gunshot in the neck, five hours. Beautiful work, though, Cinnamon. Beautiful work. Come over here and capture really quick. Plock. Who's my best doctors, now that I think about it? Um, let's see. Sort by doctoring. Tremaine is now the best doctor, and Tremaine's asleep. We're probably going to have to wake him up and get him up here. Consuming a simple meal. Now come over here. Cinnamon seems to be pretty well be bruised. Yeah, I guess she's having some issues walking. Uh, her left leg got actually pretty well beaten up. Not so beaten up that it was like broken or anything, but halfway to it. All right. So Tremaine, if you wouldn't mind tending to Laughlin, that would be very good for us. Death in four hours. And then over here on Kelvin, 23 hours. And then Cinnamon's going to need some tending after that as well. It looks like I must have screwed this up to some extent here. So let's come into floors. No. More floors? The light wood, I think I did in this one. There we go. I don't know how I got that plant in there, but I guess I did that. Uh, now, back to this thing here. Did I put this tree in? Yes, I did. Let's actually use this terraforming thing here. Let's try this out. Let's put in regular soil, like right here where that cactus was before, or was it here? I can't remember. Either. Well, oh, no! Laughlin has died from blood loss. Oh, no. No, my cook. No, my fast walker cook. No. No. Oh, that is so sad. Kelvin, death in 22 hours. Tremaine, are you working on this? Consuming a simple meal. You don't seem to care that much. Caranthia is taking care of it, though. Well, that's what you get for jailbreaking, friends. You get shot in the neck, and then you bleed out in bed before you get taken care of. While Tremaine is actually working on it, too. Well, now we have just the Kelvin here. And he's also a cook, but he's... Well, he's neurotic. So, yeah, neurotic cook is probably fine. And a slowpoke. Fine by me. Uh, we got an eclipse here. And that's it. When's our funeral? Today, actually. We got starvation on Anaria. Makes sense. She's just been sitting there sleeping. Maybe I should wake her up. She does have a meal. Fantastic. Someone had mentioned in the comments if I give her another hour to sleep during the day, it might help out. But I don't think that's true. But we'll try it. We'll make her sleep at 22 and then again at 8 in the morning. We'll see what happens. Maybe that'll keep her from falling down all the time. I doubt it. On the plus note, here comes the morning, and wouldn't you know, we got all kinds of things. Oh, nice. Nakiri came in to fuel the stove. Uh, we got all kinds of butchering going on. Get the meat getting moved over here. One thing I don't have... Okay, this shouldn't be there. Right, I remember having to mess with this before. 
So I think they, they drop the stuff to the north by default. So if you want a meat stockpile where it gets hauled auto automatically, I probably want to put it behind them. I do remember this to some extent now. It's a little bit awkward, though, having meat behind them. I think I'll just leave it. It's not as efficient, but I don't know. We need to put some shelves and whatnot in here a little bit later anyway. Now, let's go see what everyone's up to, right? So Shug's out here sowing the trees, okay? Uh, we got Patrick out here sowing the trees. Good. Blockets is out here hunting emus. That's nice. Got some people doing that. Sage and Gogs both appear to be going to eat. We do have some simple meals for all of them. Tremaine is over here apparently butchering, which is exactly what we want. Boy, did we kill a lot of these guys. Bobaloo is out here fishing. Look how mad he looks. <laughs> fishing Bobaloo. That's amazing. Uh, Nimble's over here cleaning, which is exactly what we want. Haz is over here cleaning, which is also what we want. Things are getting done way more efficiently here. Way more efficiently. The only problem is we had to catch up on the food. How long until this corn is ready to go? 91. You know what? I'm feeling like we have so many colonists, I may need to do grow zone soil. Uh, let's, let's restrict. Let's, like, grow a bunch of grass or, um, corn here right along the river. That sounds like something that might be a little bit, uh, wild western-y. You know, just grow corn wherever the nearest place is. Oh, no! Oh, did you guys see that? Sage came out here, and I think she gave this thumbs down to Bobaloo. Was slighted by Bob. No, Bobaloo doesn't like no sage, apparently. Bobaloo, what's the problem? Why you like sage? None. Exchange pleasantries with sage. Slighted sage. All right. Well, there you go, I guess. No real good reason for that. Doesn't seem to have much of an opinion of sage. God, Tremaine, thanks for doing all the work we needed you to do, like, super efficiently and fantastically. That's awesome. Cinnamon, what are you up to? You're going to rest, which is actually something I had set there. Funeral service being held for Yotter. All right, whole town, guys. Alert, unalert. Get to the funeral. Get to the funeral. It's right now. Very important business here. Why is literally no one doing the funeral? What the hell is this? Why, literally no one, I imagine this is the grave, yeah, right there, Yotter. Why is no one coming to the funeral? Oh, here's Shug, Shug's coming in. He's, of course, he's gonna sit in the water with his back. Funeral ended? What? Only Shug went to the funeral of Yotter? He's the only one? What? Look how fast that got planted. But... Well, I guess that makes sense, because Yotter was like, he was shot in the brain twice. He couldn't talk. He only had one arm. He would have been like that really awkward guy that like everyone feels bad for, but no one wants to be around. I guess he didn't have any friends in the whole colony. He literally kept the colony alive and only Shug went to pay his respects. Also, monkey hide holster belt with chaps worn by Nimble deteriorated away to nothing. Wonderful. Nimble lost his chaps, apparently. Uh, in any event... Poor Yotter, poor Yotter, just like real life. Everyone shunned him because he was different. And he was like the most helpful, most kind person on the whole planet. Kept everyone alive and even sacrificed himself to do it. This is like Forrest Gump style. It's like Rimworld Forrest Gump style. In fact, Forrest Gump was probably based on the exploits of Yotter in the Wild West. By the way, how much freaking wood do I have? 1,700. Wow, look at this though. One, two, three, four people over there. Patrick Gogs over here. This is what I'm talking about. Things are getting replanted, and they're getting replanted with a vengeance. Wow. All right, this will be good for the future. For now, it's not like super important. I'm also getting a little bit worried here. Inspiration Go Frenzy on Bobaloo has been inspired. He'll he'll walk 1.5 times faster. Okay. Well, good thing he's gonna t t sleep in bed all night. But whatever. Yeah, I really want to start moving all these things. Maybe I should do that now because we're kind of ahead on the food, or are we? No. Let's wait for the harvest. Speaking of the harvest, the rice is 100% grown and no one seems to be working on it because they're doing the sowing first. Now, this is where I get confused by how this, this works here. So, harvest crops, that's a five. However, over here I have harvest honey. Okay, that's fine. Now, here's the other one. Harvest plants which yield produce. That one I have on a four for pretty much everybody, except for cinnamon because she's a cook. So this price I would... Th this price? This rice, I would think, yields produce. Wow. Um, however, apparently that's going to be regular harvest crops. Never understood this. I've always... Every, every campaign I've ever done. So I think what I want to do is harvest growing on a four all around, or at least on everyone who's good on growing. That's literally everybody. All the people are good here. So yeah, let's let's do this. We'll just shift-click that harvest up, and we'll shut these guys off. And now, 
They should be coming up here and dealing with this rice instantaneously instead of doing all this stuff. That's my guess. We need that rice, like, right now. We're down to eight. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Okay. Well, I don't know what that other one that yields produce means, but... I don't know. Wow, look at that. We got a fish over... A bloody fish. We still have gazelles. We got a mash gun. We got an emu. There's a lot of things in there to take care of. A lot of things. Nice. Bobaloo actually moved the meat to the meat stockpile. Everything is clean in here, which is nice to see. Two cleaners makes a huge difference. And I think this should be the end. There we got one good meal out there. Oh, whoopsie daisy. One thing I realized right now, let's go back to growing. Cinnamon should not be doing that in a four. She should always be a five because she's supposed to be our chef, our uh, secondary chef. Right now, we're about to have people start eating all the wrong stuff. Come on, Cinnamon. Tremaine's the cooking now, which is good. Cinnamon's cooking too. Perfect. Perfect. And everyone's going to be making fine meals. Nakiri's out here working on this. There we go. Very nice. That's what I needed. Let's grab a quick haul priority on all this rice. Get it in there for less uh, time spent running around. Look at all that beet. Imagine when I get shelves in there. It's going to look amazing. And then right after that, we're going to go uh, we're gonna go start working on getting all this cleaned up in case there's a raid over there. Over here, we're still pretty good. Except for the fact that some of these... Oh, no, those trees are actually set to be cut. I guess I have plant cut a little bit lower. Ah, Tremaine and Cinnamon keeping the colony going while Nimble cleans up, too. God, we got through that meat really fast. I didn't even plan on having all these fine meals, but apparently everyone ate fine meals today. Look, the Kiri's just stargazing in the middle of the street. Raccoon leather button-down uh, shirt worn by Shug deteriorated nothing. Okay. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to do some, uh, some, uh, what's it called? Crafting. Pretty soon. But you know what? We we were way behind here on all this growing anyway. Ooh, you guys see that cougar? You guys see that cougar? I would shoot it. Solar flare. But the problem is Patrick can't fight anyway, so it would only be Stixie, and I don't know if she's going to be a good shooter or not. She's probably the best shooter. Yep, never mind. Zero. Jogger outdoorsy. Okay. That's a nice thing. Wow, there's actually a lot of things here. Birthday! Caranthia has reached the biological age of 24. Unfortunately, Caranthia has gained the following diseases due to aging anxiety. <laughs> okay, well, more than half the colony now has anxiety. That's just fantastic. Absolutely. Every, every campaign I play, every single colonist has anxiety because I don't play with Glitter World meds because I'm always like some kind of backwards, like old school... Uh, technology like medieval or wild west or whatever so in any event I think the meals are high enough that I'm going to come over here and start working on this I want to make sure things get done let's get this stuff haul urgently let's get this tree chopped out of here let's get oh no 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 let me actually oh, what the palo palominos abandoned or lost have joined the colony oh <gasps> horses we have horses friends yes I don't know how... Please tell me there's a male and a female. Palomino Mare. Damn it! Palomino Mare. Well, that's fantastic, though, guys. Put them in the animal area. As long as I don't forget about them. Maybe I should make them their own little thing so they're only ever inside and they can eat the hay grass there. Uh, is the hay grass enough? I could actually shut these guys... No, I don't think it's enough. I want to forget about them. They're probably going to die, but we finally have horses. Now, uh, I was talking about doing some stuff over here, which was actually pretty important before... At least in my opinion. Let's do that decoration stuff. Oh my god, slate blocks. I want to do rough marble. I have a lot of marble. It's only two marble blocks. I think we do have a lot. Let me check real quick. Yes, we've got 800 marble blocks. Let's make a nice little uh, thing over here because I want this to be like a back alley full of stones. Maybe with like a little dirt path that goes through it uh, for the most part. It's going to be just stones though. The dirt path. I don't know where the heck that would be. I guess it would come like this. Maybe through there, through here, and then we come up here, up like this. So we would do like that and like this, and then that can be like dirt at some point. We can put make that. Uh, we can just make a one tile thing here. That's what I'll probably do. Yes, something like this. I like that a lot. Now I want to use these sandstone walls actually, 
and kind of make like a little thing in the front just for making things look awesome. Let's cancel these guys. You and you. Cancel. Awesome. Cancel. Awesome. I just want to do a little, uh, a little. this is like so low importance, but I want to do it regardless. We'll put that there, that there. Awesome. And eventually we'll get around to making that a dirt path. But for now, actually, you know what I want to do? One more rough marble gravel right there. Fantastic. That'll be the dirt path. Awesome. And then uh, let's put in here a stockpile zone. Oh, that already is a stockpile zone. What is it? Oh, that was my chunks. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. It just needs to be fixed up a little bit. So stockpile zone. In fact, let's grab this guy there and delete him. Come over here. Grab this. Let's make this whole thing one big stockpile zone for now. And then I will delete zones through here, 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 here. Well, that didn't work out at all, huh? <laughs> These are going to be like 27 different stockpile zones. Uh, but let's grab this guy here. Copy settings. Beautiful. And let's just turn this on so I can see what's going on here. So, paste settings. Can I select, once I get the zone, can I select similar? No. There we go. Okay, that's going to be all of our chunks. Fantastic. Uh, and let's get rid of that zones. All right, now, funeral ender. That was unfortunate, but you know what? It makes a lot of sense if you think about it, honestly. Now that that's done, let's get these things out of here. Haul urgently. These ones up here were a nightmare. Uh, then again, I, just, I mostly just want to select you guys. Uh, let's haul you urgently. Fantastic. You know what? The three of you guys uh, will haul you urgently as well. A lot of this stuff needs to be hauled urgent. I'm not sure if we even have enough room for all of this. But let's try to get it done. Let's chop these cactuses out too. Long range characters could use those. Grab these things here. Haul urgently. Urgently. And a bit more. Those are, these are already urgent. Okay, good. Let's try to chop down um, any bushes they could use for cover. Chop, chop. You here, chop. Great. Now what's this thing there? Just cut that hollow tree. Cut it out. Burned tree. And probably this stuff down here as well. Haul that urgently. Awesome. Awesome McPossum, friends. This should be a nice defensible area once all that work gets done, I think. Uh, except, were they taking cover behind here? They might have been. Let's haul that urgently as well. And all these guys as well. Oh, wait. That was just regular haul. Whoopsie-daisy. Have I done that for, like, all of them? No, I did it right for most of them. All of them, in fact. Fantastic. All right. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a time until this gets done, but I'm liking it. Uh, we now have Psychic Soothe, every cause of the female gender. Well, that's nice. Oh, Yotter's uh, shotgun down here to sawed off. Let's haul that urgently as well. Get that out of the street. How's our meals doing? We're up to 34, which is good. Everything's nice and clean. And we should soon have corn. Yep, we're at 95, 96. And I'm hoping uh, when we... Oh, we got a Mega Sloth? Hell yeah, let's hunt that guy. They never fight back. So I've been told, oh look, a little cherry tree blossomed out there. I'm not sure that's supposed to be in this biome. But another one over there too, look. Awesome. Look at my horses! Yes! I'm so excited. I don't know how to use them though is the thing. Female. Age 15 and 16 it looks like. Uh, I suppose I should train them at some point. But maybe not just this second. Because we've got a million other things we're backlogged on here. I'm probably going to need more hay for all these animals. Like, we just never really get enough of it going for them. I don't think. Especially when we're not doing the sewing, like, super high priority. But we're not going to do that right now because we're doing all this haul urgently stuff, which is pretty important. I left my old stockpile down there. That's not what I want, but we'll move it later. We really have to worry about defenses here because that last raid was actually pretty rough. And that easily could have gone badly. Blockus has gotten sick from simple meal food poisoning. Hey, did I not? Oh, yeah, this is just, that's getting done at some point. Boy, there's a lot of stuff to work on here. An absolute lot of Why are these alpacas over here? Are these mine? Juvenile male alpaca wandering. Okay, yes. They're in the animal. Oh, the an oh they're going to come over there and eat my uh, plants, people were telling me. All right. Let's clear the allowed area, animal area one. Let's not let them in here to go eat my daisies and whatnot. I was wondering where those were going all the time, and now we finally let's not let them not over here as well. Don't let them eat all that stuff. W what the hell just happened? Oh, God, Bobaloo, it's a Mega Sloth. It's a Mega Sloth chasing Bobaloo. I've never seen a Mega Sloth revenge in my entire life. You know who can solve this quandary? You know who can solve this quandary, friends? Come on, Bobaloo, you got this. Reload. 
Nice. Keep running, though. Keep running. Cinnamon's got this. Cinnamon's got this. Run, Vavalu, run. Mega Sloth. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep. No problem whatsoever. Cinnamon came out there. Two bullets. Boom. Dead. Just like the shot it right in the heart and the stomach. God, Cinnamon's ruthless. Ruthless, I tell you. Boy. Uh, what was I doing? I was clearing... Well, first of all, let's clear the home area because I haven't actually thought about it for a while. Well, actually, it's looking fine to me, to be frank. Let's clear that allowed area, the animal area one. I was thinking of not letting them so far out now that we've got more hay growing for them because I really don't want my horses, like, randomly getting murdered by a, a gang or whatever that shows up in the wrong time at the wrong place. I kind of don't even want to let them outside these walls. So let's uh, undo that a little bit. Here's not, like, the super safest place. I don't like up there either. Awesome. Now, to balance this out, Let's come over here and go for a bit of the old grow zone, and we'll just extend it a little bit. I'm gonna have to redo all of this at some point, but, you know, for now, it's fine. Looks good, and let's make sure they can go out there. Animal area one, great. You guys can go, like, right there, and here, and there, and there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Another thing I should probably do is clear them out of all the rooms now that I've got these things built. They don't really need to be uh, in any of these places. Wow, what a mess, this colony. There's so many things to do. Holy... I have a bear and two horses. I wonder if I could learn to ride them. I think you gotta train them in obedience, at the very least. Okay, that's look, that's looking good. I'm just gonna block this whole thing off. Yeah, they don't need to be out there. They don't need to be here either. They can walk out back if they want, but... Alpaca has given birth. Well, we got even more alpacas now. Major break risk on Haz. Why is that the case, Haz? Tell us your, your problems and we'll solve. Whoa, what? Your fiance Laughlin died? What the? Uh, how is that is the second person who was in a relationship with a prisoner? I guess that's what happens when you have prisoners for 700 years, right? <laughs> That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Slept in the cold, awful bedroom. Colonist died, wearing one of apparel, feeling bad. Yeah, we're working on all of those things. I can't believe Laughlin was, has his... What the heck is that? That's insane. That sucks, though, that she's dead. Because that would have been amazing to have two people that were actually in relationships. But by the way, guys, the corn finally came, so the food dilemma is resolved. That's nice. This is so clean. It's awesome. Hey, is this wart going to actually work for me this time? 90 degrees, 70 degrees, 82 degrees. Let's do... Can I do priority here on the passive cooler? Probably not. Locus has gotten food poisoning. I don't want my stuff to spoil for once. I actually want to try to get some uh, some things going here. But then again, this does need to get done and it is the night time. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Shug started a social fight with Patrick while they're playing pool. Reason, conversation about success. Yes, Patrick's like, Shug, you need to learn to manage your anxiety. Get the hell out of the dark corners. And Shug's like, oh yeah, here's my fist in your face. Who won the fight, though? Bruise, 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 bruise. Oh, old, frail Patrick. Uh, Shug? Wow. You don't mess with Shug, apparently. Shug didn't even get a single bruise at all. But then again, Patrick is an old man, you know, an old frail man. Good job, Shug. You beat up the old man in the in the over the like, the pool table. <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna let myself go here. I am a night owl, so hopefully I get all this stuff planted tonight. I don't feel like I'm as fast as I used to be. By the way, how am I doing on all this hauling urgently? Well, we still have a ton of it to do. And by the way, that's not I knew I screwed something up somewhere. We got a lot of it, but not all of it yet. Oh, this here is apparently another brick I didn't see. Get that out of there. All right. At some point, I'll fix this up so it looks better, but we need wood. Wood. We need to haul the wood. All of it's out some other place right now. We've got a million things. Just a million things. Let's just let the things get done. Granthia's going to plant. Shug is planting. Bobaloo's bringing the meat over for tomorrow's uh, productions, which is nice. Oh, he even moved the wart over there, but interestingly enough, didn't put it in the barrel. That's because I actually have put wart in barrel on a pretty low priority. Well, Tremaine took care of it. He's a cook. It's a low priority for everyone except the cook. Cinnamon and Tremaine should be putting the, the wart in the, and the, doing the hops as well when they get an opportunity and taking care of that, which means I need someone. Nimble, where are you? You're cleaning building rubble. Really? Oh, wow. Apparently, we're not even done cleaning. This episode's been 40 minutes long. We haven't even finished cleaning yet. 
Let's come over here and prioritize working in that cooler, though, Nimble. I want to get that done. It's currently 77, which is nice. 61 outside, 77. Okay. I guess I don't really need the cooler, then. Still, I'm worried about it, and I want to make sure it gets done. Boy, I can't wait till we have wood. Well, speaking of, we do have wood. Look at that. A thousand wood in our stockpile. What? When did all of this happen? Here's a good question. What's everyone up to up here? Replanting? We still have a lot of trees. Sage, Stixie, Suge, all working on it. Now, the thing with Stixie is, she is doing the planting. Isn't she our new uh, scientist? Yes. I think what I did then, she, her research is on a five. She's supposed to do plant cut ahead of that, but maybe maybe I should not have the scientist do plant cutting. Uh, then again, if I don't, when will it ever get done? Let's, let's put it up to a three, I suppose. I just want to have one person working on uh, science because there was actually two things I wanted to do this episode with research. One of which was the, the prison cells. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. And the next thing was I wanted to go research these medical add-ons and then make like a really cool uh, little cubby over here for high-tech operations and whatnot. Makiri's sleeping. Okay, these uh, these beds honestly don't even need to be there anymore, I don't think. I could just use sleeping spots at this rate, but I could move them over here. Uh, but probably not so we get all the roofs and whatnot put in. Speaking of roofs put in, have all the roofs been put in over here? Let's go check out the roofs, shall we? Yes. Let's ignore the roof area of these things. I'm assuming they were ripped out. That is all a roof area. Interestingly enough, so is this. Let's continue that, though, uh, like such. And then I should probably finish up a wall over here. I'm not even sure if I need a wall over there. Huh. I'll just put the roof in there anyway, for, for symmetry's sake. Alright, so everything is roof that needs to be roof. Why is that roofs? Okay, let's go for remove roof area then. Probably would have ended up killing myself somehow in the future there. Blockets, what the heck are you doing? Why are you staring at a brick? Oh, you're taking the wall down. Nice. Look at this, guys. It's a little bit dark in here, but one of the things, another thing I wanted to do is build the uh, the candelabras, the wax lights. We'll get on that pretty soon once Stixie gets some research done. Uh oh, oh no, never mind. That was that was actually not that not that bad. Runtime GC must have cleaned it up pretty good. Caravan from the Gray Storm is approaching. Wonderful. They got three elefantes. They got some foxes down there. I got horses. Hopefully, I can keep them alive. I might need to escalate my plans for a stable then, but I have so many other things to do. I need to get this prison going uh, for sure. I'm sad that poor Laughlin was murdered and has his lover. That's so sad. I like how they come through the graveyard. That's awesome. Uh, who's the best talker? I think it was Plockets. Here he is. Let's go have him go trade with Trunka. Oh, these are, uh... These are actually... Tribespeople. Wow. Okay. So, they have Arctic Fox, male and female. Fascinating. They, however, have nothing else. I am thinking of buying some stuff from them, but I don't know what yet. Ooh, they'll buy all of our lame clubs and whatnot. Yes, it's so rare. I didn't even know I had all these things. This will free up so much inventory space. It is so rare that a tribe comes by and wants to buy all this. They'll also buy all these stavers. Uh, another thing is I want to make a bunch of, like, stabby uh, knives for everyone as secondaries, but we'll get around to that later. For now, we're just going to sell these guys everything. They've got 990. They're surprisingly rich for a tribe. They'll buy guns? Sure. We'll sell guns to the natives. Coach gun. Well, it's shoddy. So, triple crown. Eh, it's shoddy. Sawed off. That one was good, though. That one might have been Yodder's. Oh, I love the sawed off. Springfield, Colt, Colt, Winchester, Porter. Boy, we are going to have inventory space for years. Here's a good Winchester. I probably don't want to sell that. Sharps, superior, but it's 53% quality. I have all these sharps down here that are better anyway. And I'm not going to use that many of them anyway, so let's sell, sell. We'll keep that one Winchester. Here's the Triple Crown Superior. Sell the Marlin. Another good one. Good. We'll sell this one then. We'll sell that one, and I will sell the Sawn Off. We've got regular ones as well, so looks good. What else do they have down here? Um, oh, wow, they'll buy all my stupid bandit masks. Yes, yes, get them out of here, bad pants. These guys are buying all our garbage. Amazing monkey hide holster belt with chaps. Superior 83%. I don't want to sell that. Double strand long coat. That's actually really good. Why is someone not wearing that? They have spectacles. I don't even know what these do. Global learning factor 5. Research speed 10. Hell. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Give that to Stixie. Camel hair overalls. 
global work speed, construction speed, diplom oh, diplomacy power and trade price, negative 15 work speed. All right, you know what? Why don't we buy those for Nimble? That sounds awesome. These guys are amazing. 428 for that, though. That's really expensive. Devil's Strand Two. Well, I don't think we really want that necessarily, but I mean, it does have 15% electric armor. Why would I want electric armor I, in case someone gets zapped by a lightning bolt or something? I have no idea where I would use that. Wow, what a trade caravan this is. Probably one of the best ones I've ever seen as far as like cleaning out the base and whatnot. We've got some methadone, herbal meds. Yeah, I don't think I want anything else from them. And I think we've given them everything we can. Thank you very much, friends. Thank you very much. Now, two things that are super important. Here we go. Nimble, you're the number one crafter. Go wear your overalls, friends. And here, where's Stixie on the list? Have her come up and wear those spectacles. I wonder if they show up on her face. I can't wait to see. I want to see what Nimble looks like. Oh, look at Farmer Nimble. Or Worker Nimble, whatever it is. We also have more visitors here. Let's haul this Devil Strand. Well, it's 33%. But it is a Devil Strand duster. Let's haul that up. Nimble looks so weird. Such a worker. Such a worker. It's amazing. Hey, what happened to this? Oh, look, Stixie is where it, guys, look. Well, let me, let me move. Well, look at that. It's like, this is like, uh, like Will Smith style Wild West. What was that show? I never actually watched it. That's so awesome looking, though. Absolutely awesome. Let's go check out these other visitors, because apparently we've got more. Schlitzler and Bandito. Bandito? Okay, Bandito of the so Southwestern Orium or whatever the heck. All right, Blockets, let's go trade some more. I want to go look at my inventory, too. Apparently, actually, everything I sold was laying on the ground because not really much got cleaned out there. Speaking of, I, yeah, I might not have been able to haul stuff, all of this stuff, because we might have been full the whole time. Let's have Blockets, wherever the heck he is, come go trade with Schlitzler now. And you know what would actually be good? If I have these unowned rooms, let's switch them over to for guests. Not all of them can be for guests yet, but at least some of them can. What? Ooh, they got three meds. Boy, what an easy game this is. They just give me all the things I need, apparently. And we can sell our lame stuff. I don't... Uh, I guess I will sell that Devil Strand Duster. 33% It's beaten up. Yeah, we actually already cleared out our entire inventory. So at this point, nothing really to sell to them. Okay, well... Sorry guys, yeah, you're late to the punch, but we'll take your, uh, we'll take whatever you have that's good, I suppose. Let's haul that urgently. Uh, this guy here, haul that urgently as well. Fantastic. Oh, this, did I buy this hat? Emu, no, someone dropped that on the ground. Let's haul that urgently though, get it out of there. Oh, by the way, how's all this corn doing? This is, oh, not good. Haul urgently, friends. Apparently we got all this stuff here, haul urgently as well. Wow. Yeah, I forgot the rain was going. Haul all that urgently. Anything that can spoil. The thing is, like, normally I wouldn't have to do this. My wool cloth, apparently wool cloth doesn't deteriorate in the rain. I guess, because it's just sitting there. No one seems to care. Sure, all right. All right, Bandito here. The visitor playing pool at our table. I like it. I like it a lot. Did we ever get these trees done? No. Research finished. Prisoner containment. Yes. Let's do that uh, medieval care. It's only 100. That's going to take very little time. This means I can now put in these doors up here. Production, structure, jail door. 100 wood. Uh, 30 steel and two components. What? What if I made like a steel one? 130 steel. What? What? Oh, that right. Yes, yes. Jekyll made this mod, so everything in his in his mods are like so all over the place. They're either like literally game breakingly overpoweredly easy, or unbelievably ridiculously expensive. Apparently, nowhere in between. All right. Well, we do have a million wood. I'm gonna have to go for these wooden jail doors. They also take two components and thirty steel. What? I don't want to do that. I want steel ones, but I don't have... I've only got 400 steel. I can't spend... That would be like... four. I, that would be 800 steel just for jail doors. I can't do that. We're going to have to do the wooden ones, unfortunately. Wow. That's so insane. That is really insane. Uh, all of those guys, we're going to forbid that, though. None of that's in super important right now. Let's make sure everything gets done out here. Yep, great. Haul this rice. Nice. That's taking care of meals for days down here. Jermaine's working on that. This place is get. Oh, hey, speaking of, let's uh, drop this down to refuel of less than 25% or whatever. Some some percentage. Rest of these guys, 
Uh, those are just normal priority, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Our cooler is in here. How's it do? Outside's 53, inside's 65. So apparently the cooler's completely superfluous now that I finally got it working. But we may finally have some alcohol in 8 days, 18 hours. Seems unlikely. In fact, now it's almost too cold in there. But we do have two stoves, so we should be fine. We're harvesting some more rice. Boy, did we get that taken care of, huh? Absolutely everything taken care of this episode. Wow. Insane. I want some mortar stuff taken care of, though, because I still don't feel like all of these haul urgently orders. Maybe they just don't have places to... They don't have places to put it. I see. That was the problem. Let's grab this. Let's copy that. I thought I had my old one here, but I had deleted it in the last episode. I vaguely remember that, yeah. Uh, you know what? For now, we're going to stick them over here, even though this is, like, not really where I want them. So it's just, like, an overflow place. Uh, let's paste that in. And now all those haul urgently orders should... That's still not going to be enough space, though. So let's get another one. Uh, I guess in the street for now. We'll, we'll move it around later. Uh, let's paste that in. Awesome. And this one will be priority low. Awesome. Okay. These guys should move all that stuff. We got corn for days in here. Rice is now getting super harvested. We don't even have space to put all these things. We don't have to make like a granary. Interesting. That didn't even cross my mind. Poor Patrick's throwing up. He was carrying wood. Then he just threw it in the ground and threw up all over the rice. Fantastic. That's what we need to see. Look at these horses. Can't wait to train them and get them moving. But first, we need to make sure we don't die. Mental break nicotine binge. Look at... Oh, these guys are leaving. Who was this nicotine binge? It's on Patrick. Eh, that's all right. He's not having a good day today. So many bricks to move. It's insane. But you know what? We need to craft those bricks into stones, and then we'll use those stones to do stuff at some point. Hey, how also did all of these uh, growing things go? Well, we still have a little bit of trees to plant there, a little bit of trees to plant here. Uh, looks like we've got a few to plant here, and some to plant there as well. Ooh, more gazelles if I wanted to farm them up. I don't think I need to, though. We're good on the simple meals. Let's just let things go on four... Th Ooh, tobacco's rotting away. That's unfortunate. Let's just let things go in four times here, because I started a million things, and I feel like I'm at the precipice of getting them all done. Like, once we're done hauling these bricks, we should, like, plant all the trees in a single day, uh, haul all this extra stuff, move all these things around, all that good stuff. Ooh, nice! Medieval medical care! All right, next thing I wanted to do is industrial age wax-powered lighting. There we go. Now that I have the medieval medical care done, let's see if I can find the best bed we own, right? This is superior. All right, what does that mean? Immunity gain, 110. Surgery, 110. Amazing. Legendary? What the hell? I had a legendary prisoner bed? Holy, 110, 119. Shoddy, superior, superior. I'm sure these aren't better than 110, 119. Shoddy, uh, normal. I have another legendary bed? 110, 120. That one's marble. Holy. These rest effectivenesses are less, though. Here's a good bed. Shot. Where did all these legendary bed come from? All right, this one's the one then. Let's reinstall that guy up here. This one, blueprint, work left three. Let's actually, I don't even know how that was a blueprint or where that came from, but we'll move that out. Now, let's come in here and find those things. Furnitures? No, that's not it. Maybe miscellaneous? Yes, here we go. Medieval wash pan. Let's make that actually out of marble. A marble wash pan. We'll put it right next to the bed. Looks good. Medieval surgery instruments. Can we also make that out of marble? 50 marble blocks, 25 steel. Wow, I can't rotate it, unfortunately. Just rotate. That's so weird. You can rotate the tools, but not the bench. All right. Uh, I guess I can put that up here, I suppose. Uh, and then let's put the medieval surgery lamp. Let's also make that out of marble. 50 marble, 25 steel. We'll put that right over here in the corner. Yes, awesome. We've got like a nice little mass or legendary bed with all these medieval things. Uh, medieval tech, uh, Rimworld. No, not Rimworld. Wild Western-like medicine advancements. All right. How's that, how are guys doing out here? Well, they, look at that haul plus, though. That haul urgently. It's getting done. In fact, it got done really quickly, to be honest. These two right there, I kind of want to move those as well. Nice. Well, we've got some defenses, at least sort of on the west side. We don't have, um, we don't have... 
barbed wire coming out the south, but that was actually because I anticipated a road coming in here, but I think I might not do that at some point. I don't know. We'll see later. Way more bricks than I realized, but let's watch what happens when all the bricks are done. Oh, wait, there's a few more out here as well. How's our meals? We're up to 73 meals. That is fantastic. Hey, is Kelvin actually being recruited? Yes, 99% though. That's the problem. Poor Laughlin. Laughlin, why do you gotta try to jailbreak? If only I had the actual jail and they were separated. Maybe. Oh, look! Bandito enjoyed his stay. He left you musket balls. 100% score. They'll visit again in a few days. All right. Well, I suppose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! They'll prepare for a while, then attack. Where are they coming from? Sounded like they came from the left, but... Oh, no, they're coming from the northwest. Oh, well, that's actually a pretty good thing, then, because we had got this... Let's just uh, speed up a little bit here for... I can't even speed up, unfortunately, because the raid's on the screen. 28 of them. Ooh, 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 animals. Get inside, friend. Get inside the lockup. Rage is lock up. Go, 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 go. Also, let's not have the polar bear follow has. That's something else someone had mentioned in the comments. Bobaloo is moving this last stone brick there. Fantastic. All right. When's are you returning? Hopefully the animals are inside by then, especially my husses. Finally, actually got some husses. That's fantastic. Too bad they weren't male, though, or at least one of them wasn't. Uh, and I think in the next episode, we'll finish these trees. We're pretty close to it. We'll fend off this raid. We'll start building this thing up here. We'll get the floors in, make this all nice. We'll start decorating. I was actually thinking, I'm gonna pause here because I'm, I'm just talking for a little while while the raid's like about to attack. Um, I was actually thinking of ripping this wall out and stop uh, not having this be a two bedrooms, but instead having it be the general store. You put a bunch of shelves in there and then the hospitality people can walk across the street from the tavern, go into the store and buy a bunch of goodies or a bunch of trash really, because wow, we've got so much stuff in this colony. It's insane. It's insane. I need to get more storage. Uh, I need to expand the walls up here and get my storage out of the way. And then also get more bedrooms over here, as you can see in the planner. I had plans for that. Like, the walls go up there. We got a little fort right there, which would have been great against these guys. Except, uh, I might want to rip out all the walls before we build that fort. So we actually do it the proper way, rather than, like, put the fort in first and then have a giant raid where you ought to have to carry people to their, to their safety and barely keep them alive. And then over here would be like more of our storage area. And then we'd have bedrooms here to put everybody so we can get them out of this area and some other stuff. But, whoo, what a peaceful, calm episode. The next one won't be, though, because it's going to be raid time. Or will it be? I don't know. It's actually going to be kind of weird because they're coming down there and I've only got six spaces here to shoot from. But I've also got these ones and this isn't even fully constructed yet. So, and they might just go and burn down some of my palisades because we have no fort facing the north yet. And I don't want to build one until I build this, and I don't want to build that until I rip out this stuff until it's safe, and I don't want to rip that stuff out until we plant all the stuff. I don't want to plant the stuff until we get more rooms, and I don't want to get more rooms until we're done building all the things and hauling all the wood. Speaking of, as much as I hauled a lot of stuff this episode, we've still got something like... Apparently 5,000 wood. <laughs> I may have gone overboard on the wood. I may have gone overboard, but at least now we have it. Uh, and then, maybe soon, we get our little trees put in here, which is going to look cool. We get our little, like, uh, stone kind of walking path put in there. That'll be awesome. So many cool things to do. Uh, but that's all for the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Nice. Keep running, though. Keep running. Cinnamon's got this. Cinnamon's got this. Run, Bobaloo, run. Mega slot. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep, no problem whatsoever. Cinnamon came out there, two bullets, boom, dead. Just like the shot it right in the heart and the stomach. God, Cinnamon's ruthless. Ruthless, I tell you.